this is one of our kind of uh, fan favorites of the of the education materials that we bring out for various events, both at the museum and outside of the museum. And it's about uh, the pain of various bees, wasps, and ants, and it's called the Sting Pain Index. You can see that, you know, these various species of bees, wasps, and ants are ranked on a scale from one to four, with four being the most brutal and one being kind of the softest of the, of the stingers that are out there. Now, this idea was originally developed by a scientist over in New Mexico who's, whose last name was Schmidt. It is the Schmidt Sting Pain Index because, believe it or not, he actually allowed himself to be stung by all of these and a lot more. I think the grand total was somewhere around 70 different species of bees, wasps, and ants that he allowed himself to be stung by and he ranked them all on, on this category of one to four. And the, the descriptions that you see inside of our boxes here are descriptions that are verbatim from Schmidt himself and when he published this and have this tarantula hawk, which is the most brutal sting that you can get in San Diego County. Uh, pure, intense, brilliant pain, uh, blindingly fierce, shockingly electric. Uh, and so this is definitely an insect that you don't want to tangle with. Now, very now, interestingly, you know that, and it, when you look at the coloration of this, it probably tells you, I don't want to be you to mess around with me, because generally, in nature, when you see black and red together, that means stop in some sort of way. It either says I'm going to sting you really bad, or I'm going to taste really awful. One of the, one of the two, and you see that same uh, coloration pattern in this velvet ant that's down here in the number three. Uh, category. Also in this category are, a lot of people refer to them as red ants, but these are harvester ants uh, that we have here in San Diego County. I've been stung by some of those. Those are pretty painful. The pain lasts a long time. It's not necessarily that much worse than a honeybee sting uh, in terms of the intensity of the pain, but it lasts for such a long time. Now this is a category, category two, that most people have actually been stung by because it does include honeybees, so they fall into this category along with what people commonly refer to as meat bees, but they're not bees, they're actually wasps. Uh, they're uh, carnivores, bees are herbivores for the most part. And then we have another uh, type of vespid wasp in here. And then in the very bottom category, we've got a couple of different types of native bees. This might look like a honey bee to you, but it's a solitary bee. Here's a little sweat bee. And these are light and ephemeral, almost fruity, sharp, sudden, and mildly alarming. And I sometimes think that Schmidt might have been drinking a lot of wine as he was creating these descriptions because they, some of them have the essence of a, of a fine wine. That, maybe this is a Zinfandel versus a, uh, a Shiraz or something up here. So this is the, the pain index. It's a, it's a good education tool that we use because everybody's either been stung or is scared of being stung. So it's a way that we can start talking to people about the diversity of bees, wasps, and ants in a way that they're familiar with them. A lot of folks are going to be sorry to hear that the honeybee is only a tool. Yeah, exactly. It's like I said, it's the one people most likely to encounter and they think that it hurts really bad.